What's up everyone, this is Cybernat8610, and today we're going to be opening up a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection for Joey's World. It's one of my favorite of the Legendary Collections, just because it's based off Joey, which has a lot of uh, great cards in it that he's used throughout the series. And uh, yeah, so I thought I would open up another one of these, and I, I just like the box and everything too, how it has these different monsters on it, Time Wizard and Baby Dragon and everything. And then of course in this box you get a bunch of token cards, uh, you get five packs of like the Mega Pack for Joey, a game board, and uh, some different promo cards too, so... Yep, let's go ahead and open one of these up and uh, see what we get. This seems to be like the, the cheapest of the Legendary Collections, or at least at the time of this video. Unless something changes, you never know. <laughs> the Yu-Gi-Oh! stock market, <laughs> the way it acts lately, you never know if a card's going to jump up in price, which makes a set jump up in price too. Also, for people wondering, I got this for Big Collectibles, so be sure to check them out. Link in the description. Really awesome store. Have all kinds of cool Yu-Gi-Oh! products, as well as uh, card fight and other card games too. So here's our promo pack, where you get a Blue Flame Swordsman, you get Harpy Lady Phoenix Formation, Card of Last Will, and then Token Cards. So all these different sheep tokens, which is pretty cool. Especially for back then, because we didn't have a whole lot of token cards. Now for the uh, Mega Packs. So there are guaranteed hollows in these too, so you get some really cool stuff. Pretty much guaranteed a card of every rarity, so it's pretty cool. Cyber Harpy Lady, that's cool to get too. Good common. Uh, Chain Destruction, rare. Uh, Spirit Reaper, it's kind of funny to see. Yeah, some of these card choices aren't always used by Joey too, so it's kind of funny to see a few of them. Dark World Lightning, Secret Rare, that's a good one to get. And Harpy Lady. Yeah, they did a lot of reprints of like Dark Worlds and stuff too in this, so it was really cool to see. And next pack, Let's see what else we got. I need to get a Red Eyes, or at least some kind of Red Eyes cards. Copycat. That Beast of Telwar. Then Gates of Dark World. And Regeki! There we go! First edition Regeki! Secret Rare! Now that's awesome to get. Uh, these used to be, uh, they went up for a while whenever Regeki came back, so still really cool to get. And uh, Harpy Lady 3 for our Super Suijin. That's cool. I like still using all the different forms to Gate Guardian in the video games. You pretty much had to in the the PC games when you're going against uh, going against Kaiba. Let's see. We have Toon Summon Skull. <laughs> cool to see that. Book of Life Ultra Rare. Foolish Burial. Another good secret rare to get. So that's really good. And uh, Harpy Lady Three. Another one of those. Right, and two packs left with an airplane. Evidently, <laughs> I can't help but always to point that out because. They're always so loud around here. For some reason. Alright, let's see. Blast Sphere. That's pretty cool. Uh, Chain Destruction. Then we have Blackhorn of Heaven. A great ultra rare to get. So that's another really good one. Uh, Cab Assaults. And Super Rejuvenation. Last pack. What are we going to end with? Let's see. Get a Red Eyes Darkness Metal. That'd be awesome. Or, like I said, any Red Eyes cards. I haven't really seen any. You're free. Well, that's cool. Well, here we are. We have a Red Eyes Zombie Dragon. That kind of counts. Heavy Storm. That's really good. That could come back in the future. Never know. Probably at the time of this video. Watch. I'm going to look stupid and it'll be back or something. And there we are. We actually called it. We have a Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon for our secret. Rare. This is an amazing card to get and one of my favorites, of course, too. And Elegant Egotist. And another uh, Sui Jin. There we go. But yeah, I recorded some of these openings a little bit early, so watch. We're going to see, like, Heavy Storm come back, and that'll be a really good one to get. Always hold on to some of those older cards that are banned anyway, because you never know with Konami. We didn't think Regeki would come back back then. And you never know what they're going to do. So here we are. We have the game board as well, which has the Phoenix on one side. And then, of course, you have Joey on the other. So pretty cool. And it's like a cardboard like material, game board material, I guess, technically, that you can use as a playmat. So pretty useful. Of course, this is older so it doesn't like have the pendulum zones and stuff on it, but, you know, that probably won't bother you at all. So, yep, and there we go. That is the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Like I said, this is a really cool Legendary Collection. Hope to see in the future maybe another Legendary Collection based off another character or something. Maybe something based off the villains of Yu-Gi-Oh! Or, like I've said before, something for Kaiba. But, uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys uh, think and what character would you choose, if you could, for the next Legendary Collection. 
As always, uh, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a comment. Also, tell me what other openings you want to see in the future. As well, subscribe for the latest Yu-Gi-Oh! openings. Of course, anything new that comes out for Yu-Gi-Oh! whether it's English or Japanese, I do openings on. So, subscribe to stay updated on that. And, of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya! Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video. Be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. As well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Night Games for Let's Plays. And also, uh, Cyber Night CCG for Card Fight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya!